Alrighty, welcome back. I've got Aiden inside today. He's not outside. There's a little bit of rain going on. He did a good job welding up the pieces that I wanted welded up yesterday. There's some more to do to it, but we're inside. Nate's going to help me put the running board on. Uh, we've got it welded up, or I welded it up yesterday um, after the video shut down. I got these two pieces welded together, and I was able to buff it off so you couldn't tell where I welded it on there because I left that gap. I welded it on top of the exhaust pipe. I also... You can see the ends, how this all got butt welded together because it fit the way I wanted it to. And I made sure that the metal was placed in the right place. If the metal was placed like this and I weld a big goober weld on the outside of her, I wasn't going to get it. But if the metal's like this, then I can weld it on the edge and, and buff it off. So that has to be reminded at all times. And as soon as you forget, then that builds that out longer, makes it not fit the way it should. What I've done on the bottom side, we'll show the bottom side. Aiden's going to help me put it on here in a minute. We're going to try, we're going to rip the door open. I say rip the door open, but we're going to, it's going to be a little bit of an issue getting the door open because I got some metal where it's tight fitting where the roof went on. I've never opened it up after I put the roof on, but we're going to open the door up and see if it interferes with the running board. And uh, I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. But as you, as you come along and see the underneath of it, I just took a pair of C clamps and C clamp this sheet of metal down on top of everything. I spot welded it on so it's very tough and rugged. Uh, basically, when you have an old car and you've got a set of running boards, nobody wants someone standing on them on the running boards. Um, but what we have here is a running board that I think that shouldn't be a problem to stand on. It's heavy, and I think it's necessary just for the reason being is how tall the car is in the air, um, and I want it in case anything happens like that. I think that um, being heavier than lighter on a running board is probably the way to go. But anyways, I got it all tacked on there. I got it all welded up the way I want it welded up, I, I'm thinking. So now, basically right now is, is the time to try it on and see how it fits. Um, we're gonna rip, not rip the door, we'll probably have to rip the door open, but we're gonna snip the welds off the door, pull the door open, see how that goes. Then there's some inside work to do on the door. So what I'm saying is we're gonna have to put the door on, or not the door on, put the running board on, snip the welds, try to pull it open. Here's where it's going to catch, right in there. Don't know if I can get a grinder in there. I've been looking for a saw, so I could just put a saw in there. It's going to catch on that sort of stuff, and it's going to make it hard to open, but we'll, we'll do the best we can do to get it open. We'll get the door open, see if it hits the running board at all, and then it's off to, if you come in the camera, if you, then it's off to, you can see how over on that door, you can see the, the light. That's the inside sill that we're going to have to make to come out and fit the door. So we're going to take the running board, we would take the running board back off, shut the door, and we'll make that inside part so that's not visible anymore. There's no more air gap going on there. We're going to run some square stock in there, run it up underneath the door, um, and then run a piece of metal to the inside of the floor. We're trying to tie it all together. But let's try the running board on. And as you can see, we'll, we'll just check it out when we get it on there. You got the back, Aiden. I got the front. Mm -hmm. And it is it is a heavy running board, is it not? It's a good, like you, you, good weight. Yeah, it's a bit of weight. It's a piece of exhaust pipe and some and some angle iron. It's got some weight to it, but that's what we wanted. I'm going to put um, your side on your. I'm going to put your piece in first. Your see your bolt there for the corner of the fender. Yeah. Stick that in there like that. You're going to just hold the back up, if you will, for the back side of it. Yeah. I'm going to stick this part in. go now you're gonna hold to get the back part up here it's gonna stay yep. up in the air I think I'm just gonna put a bolt in the back side I'm gonna get on my my back side lined right up it is lined right up now you're you're able to let that go gotcha. not going anywhere <clears throat> let's let's get a bolt in the back I want to put a bolt in the back side of this let's see if I can get one in there Old greasy fingers. Grab me that other bolt there, please. Thank you. I just have to hone the holes out a little bit. I got that one in there. So now, that's what the running board looks like. To step back and take a look. Awesome. 
fits good, fits good everywhere, fits nice up in here, which we knew it would because we made the running board on the car. Like I was telling Aiden, it fits good here. Like I was telling Aiden, you wouldn't want to make it off the car and then try to put it on. You want to make it on there and then be careful when you're welding it up that you're not warping up. You can tell that this is wider here, wider there, and thinner here. So we've actually got a running board that goes like this. Also, it goes like this. So it's kind of a it's kind of a it's a kind of a cool thing to be able to, be able to do that, but I think it fits the car quite nicely. Fits nicely. Now we're going to cut the doors open. There's going to be this is the very first time that we're going to do that. There's a piece that has to be capped on the inside here. And a piece has to be capped on the inside here because we did not finish the A pillar or the B pillar. We've got it capped from the back side, but we did not never open the door. Um, what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> hmm, I'm just thinking, I want to, we can do that. Oh yeah, we're going to open the door up and see if it hits the running board, which I don't think it's going to, but it might. Let's, let's try to get the door open. Aiden's going to stick with me because we're going to end up doing the inside the door. We're going to do it together, and uh, that's how we're going to do it. He's going to... He's being patient with me this morning, which is a good thing. Sometimes it's hard to be patient. With that, you got to... Ah, he's on the ball. Got to love it. Got to love it. That's okay, Aiden. I got to get my glasses. <laughs> Safety first. Yeah, safety first. I get a pair of gloves. It's Friday! We have what you call apple blossom going on here. And it's supposedly, are they having to the prayed this year? Having to prayed and everybody gets appled up. <laughs> and uh, there's lots of people and that sort of stuff. So, um, first time opening the doors. Let's do it. When when I when I first um, first locked the door shut on this car, uh, what can I say? One door didn't fit so well; it was kind of out of out of shape. I'm hoping that when we made the floor, and I got the doors lined up here like this, I do not know if the hinges are wore out. They they could be very well be wore out. It could drop. It could do whatever. Um, but basically, what I'm thinking is, as we've welded the car up, we got the A pillar where that's at, the B pillar where that's at. Nothing's going to move because we got it nailed down to the floor. We got the floor nailed down to the car. Nothing's going to move. I think everything's going to be fine. But if anything moves or drops like that, it's called just called adjustment, and that would be on our hinges, and that will be there's sort of a hard deal. Uh, we've got metal right here that's hard up on the door, so it's going to make us hard to open the door at first. It's not just going to go fly open. It's going to be a little bit of an issue, so stick with us. And I'm just going to snip, snip off the welds. like that maybe it is going to be no problem <laughs> that so you can see how it dropped a little bit we get we get we get hinge issues now we're going to open the door voila look at that now would you get in Aiden <laughs> anyways this is what we got going on let's take a look this is the first time we've seen the inside of this bad boy for a while we've got the running board you can see how I said it had a nice gap going along there and that's, that's good. Anything goes down in there, it can go down by, and whatever. Uh, that's the inside sill we put on. Now you can see that the A pillar, I thought we we're gonna have a big issue with that, you know that? There was no surprise at all. It's Friday. We got the A pillar here that we need to cap off. Um, there needs to be some metal there that's dealt with, and we gotta cap it off. All this here gotta be capped off. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a, an issue, because not an issue, it's just something that we have to do. If you look up the front, you can see that the, the A pillar has to be capped off going to the inside sill. That has to be dealt with. Also, what's going to happen is, is we're going to run a piece of, um, I was saying when, to Aiden, 
when we have the door uh, shut on the car. That's not bad, eh? You know what I mean? That's not bad. Just drop down a little bit. But we got to get that back up to the line, and that'll be in in the hinge part or the door. Like we're going to have to deal with that. I mean, that's all there is to it. You can see how <laughs> that's how easy that moves. You can see it moving down there at the bottom hinge. You know, so the that hinge is not locked on there very well. Is what's going on. Or just broke free from the door, which I think a lot of them are. So we're going to make a, a piece that comes in here. Comes. We're going to weld it to the inside sill, and then comes out. And piece of square stock from there to to the a or b pillar to the a pillar that fits the same shape of the door so what i want to do is and i'm going to shut that look at that that makes me happy 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 piece of square stock uh, i'm going to give aiden a piece of square stock i'm going to give him a measurement and i'm going to let you do it Okay. Okay. So we're going to take a, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a measurement of the door. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it a little bit longer and I'm going to get you to beat the floor with the piece of pipe. And then we're just going to lay it on the door and see if we can, can't, can't get that shape. Once we get that shape, then we know it's going to fit the inside of the door. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll okay. Go along with it. So basically the, the square stock that we're doing, okay, I got to grind it right over here or you tape measure. Sorry. Excuse me. I'm all messed up. Um, what's going on is we're going to use, when we open the door here, we have, we have a distance. Well, I don't even know if we can use square stock, to be honest with you. But... Hmm. You know what I mean? I was going to put square stock right underneath the door. Yeah, and just kind of fill it in. So the square stock would fit the shape of the door. So we'd bend the square stock to the shape of the door, and that would come out out here and weld to this this pillar the b pillar to the a pillar and then we take a sheet of metal and and cap it over and run it up and make a 90 so it fills it in so it's there's like a i don't know what you call that it's like a little step there or, no, it's not a step i guess it's just it's just finishing off the inside of the car and tying the b pillar to the a pillar also tying if you want to put a rubber at the bottom if this is fitting right tight along the bottom of the door all the way along that far away you could put a rubber against it you could put whatever to seal the door off but I just don't know it's pretty darn close is it not mm. pretty darn close we've got three quarters of an inch and we got three quarters of an inch um, bum, 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 bum. I got nothing smaller we could take and use a piece of hmm, kind of Changed my plan for a second. I thought we had more than three quarters of an inch underneath the door. Um, 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 um. All right, this is what we're going to do then. We'll still be, we'll still use it. We'll bend it and then we'll cut it in half. Okay. And we'll bend it. We'll bend. We'll get that shape. We only need half. And, well, we only, we only need half it. So we'll bend it in half and then we'll cap it with the metal when we. We were going to weld the metal to it anyways. Yeah. So basically what's going to go on is a piece of metal is going to come down and out to the square stock, which is going to be in the shape of the door. Okay. So when you look at, when you're inside the car and you look down, you don't see the running board. You don't see the hole in the side. So the piece of metal coming down and then it runs out and then it'll hook onto that. Um, and we're going to make that the same shape. We'll cut that in half after we get it in shape. Yeah. I did the drip rail molding. I don't know if you, you didn't get to see that, but I did the drip rail molding. I bent it, I put it in shape, and then I cut it. I'm going to show you. This here is square stock. I bent that in shape, and then I cut half the top and, and the bottom, and I made it as a drip rail molding to finish it off. So now we're going to just cut that. After we get the shape, we'll cut that in half, and then we'll do it that way. Okay, so we're still going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to have to cut it in half. So, no, I'm going to measure the door. Cut a piece four feet long, Aiden. Four feet. Four feet. You got the zip cut. I'll, I'll get the tape measure. Cut, run around four feet there, bro. You cut it the zip cut. Well, generally, what, what I like to do is hold the long hold the long end hold the long end up, 
and let that piece fall. If you're cutting oh, okay. that, you know what I mean? Let it fall. If, okay. if you hold it like this, we got a gap going there. You start cutting it on the floor and that goes down, it'll jam up your no, zip cut, floor. if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. So you hold, whatever one you're holding, hold it up and let the other piece fall off. Fall off Go side. for it. Cut her off, man. So that's how I would do that. I would hold that up. Yeah, and let her cut her off and let her fall. The door opens. The running board fits. Going beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Ooh. All right, now we're going to just take and you're going to grab the end of that bad boy. And if it hurts your hand, don't even think about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> so um, to make that, we're going to shut the door here. We're going to try to get the shape of that door. So basically what I want you to do is just start tapping on the floor and keep it. Just keep the same, you're going to have to keep the same plane field. You can't, you can't tap it on the floor and then turn it and tap it on the floor. You have to keep it on the same, the same side. The same side because okay. you, if you change sides, well, then you're changing angles. So basically, what you're doing is you're tapping it on the floor like that. That's bending it like this, obviously. And then mm -hmm. we're going to take it and try to apply it to the door and see if it fits. Okay. And how hard are you tapping? You give her a tap and see what you think. <laughs> okay. Harder, harder than that. Maybe you might want two hands. Give her a good tap. Just give her a tap again, man. Tap it again. Take a look at now. You hold it up and look at your eye like that. Uh, is it bending? Yeah, it is. Okay. Take it and try it on the door. Try your side on. You got quite a bit to go, haven't you? Yep. Yeah. And you're going to keep it on the same playing field, right? Right there. Go for it. Harder. And also, come down some. Mm -hmm. If you slap, slap it like instead of on the right on the tip. If you slap it, uh, it gives it more even. Yeah, a little bit. It. Try it now. See what you get on. What you get going on there. Just so you don't go too far. A little bit further. A little more. And you can switch ends too, right? Oh, and then even it up. Even it'll even up a little bit more. Switch ends on that then. Yeah. Give her a smack. Try it on the door. Get your hand. Yep. I need some more. Need more. You got. How's it feel in the hands? It's all right. <laughs> Good to have gloves on. How'd they make a man out of you? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Right on there if you can, like oh, you got the best you can. It's fitting nice back here, but you still got a little bit to go. Uh, you know what? You know what I'm thinking? Hmm. Um, I give her another bat or two, just a, just a, just a, another bat or two. Yeah. Try that. Now, when you bend this, when you bend this pipe like this, and you bang it on the floor, yeah. you're basically just getting the bend in the center. Okay. okay. It doesn't bend right here. Very good. You know what I'm trying to tell you? So, if we get it up there, you've got it fitting excellent from like that. It's pretty hard to bend that right there. You know what I mean? Like if you're slapping, you're bending way up in here, basically. Um, so, if we took, and took your marker, as you're doing this, I just want you to know that you're only really getting the bend in the center. If you keep bending it, you're going to get it bent more in the center, mm -hmm. but you're not really going to get that part down there now. So you go on the other side of me. As we have this on here, and we want that to, or pull it back a little bit, because that's where we want it to fit yeah, in there, right? The so if you pull that back and you see where it's not, where it's all the way coming back to where it's not fitting, and give it a mark. You want it back a little further. Right, there, right about there somewhere, yeah. So if we took this piece of pipe and um, I usually try to find anything. Um, the vice will do, I guess. The vice is in there. Oh, Jesus. There's ducks in this place. I just want, I don't know if the vice is going to move around. It's got the wheels on it. 
I'm just looking for something to hold it down. You was, was putting it in the car. Let's do the hoist. hoist? Okay. Yeah, let's go outside for a second. Good call, Jolene. You got that mark there, right? We just want a little bit of bend where that mark is, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. So you just bend it a little bit on the end where you generally wouldn't get the bend. So we'll go back in and try it. Following me? <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying, Aiden? Yes. Okay, good. Look where we're at now. That is fitting much better. Yeah. And you probably wouldn't have got that slapping it because slapping it, you would have gotten, um, Oh, I, actually, I should have showed you. Uh, slapping it, you would have probably got more bend in the center. And then also, sticking out on the ends. and I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking, but we have the piece of wood over here. That would have bent it for us. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. If I put it in the piece of wood, we have, did you notice a little bit at the end wasn't fitting? Mm -hmm. A little tiny, just like a, a little bit. Just a, just a little <laughs> bit. Can you sing that song? Um, right on the end, see how I got that skull up there? Yeah. If I hit that there, I've got a chance of that bending down. Can you see that right underneath there? A little dip there. A little yeah. dip there. So if I hit that right there, it's going to bend it. You know what I mean? It's going to be pushed in. It's going to push it down, which is going to bend that piece out for us. So, let's hit it like that. And you can t we could have brought that over here, and you could have put that in the center, and you could have hit it in there with the hammer with that scalloped out, and could have bent it the exact same we did on the hoist. Yeah, and just gone along. Cool. Just, and, and walk back and forth and see if it fits. <clears throat> now, what I'm saying is we need, we need a little bit more. Mm -hmm. got, got a little tiny gap going on there. That's still a little bit. Just a, <laughs> he wants to sing that song, I know it. <laughs> After a while, he'll be singing, eh, little man. All right, I'm going to hit it back at our point, because our, see where our line, our line is? I'm going to hit it back there, because yeah. uh, I want a little bit all the way. I think I better go check it. Double check, double check. Well, it's basically what you got to do, and what I'm going to tell you is, look at that now, would you? Huh? Uh, How you fit in there? That fits good, don't it? Right? Spot on. That's spot on. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The faster you walk back from that piece of wood and get over here and try it, the faster you'll get it done, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got this piece on here, so we want this piece, we want this piece like this. We want this underneath the door. Basically, if we got it mirrored on the outside, it should mirror it on the inside, like that. Okay, and that fits so damn nice that it's so close that I really don't want to cut it. But you know what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, it's just right on that edge. It's yeah. just right on that that corner. It's just right on that point where it'd be nice just to have it. But it's so close. I wouldn't. I don't want the bottom of the door rubbing on the sill that's coming down here, eh? And scraping on. Yeah, it. scraping on. I don't really don't want that. You put paint on it, and the next thing you know, that's off, and, and after that, that's off. And, and if you come up and take a look at the front of the door, if you take a look front of the door, you can tell this part here. You can look and see if you want to go on the other side, sweetheart. You can see why the door has flex in it. Oh, why the door's going up and down? Take it, stick your head in there. Look at that hinge. You have the holes in there. Oh, yeah. See where it's weak, moving. Yeah. Okay, so that's what it would have to be fixed to fix that door. Okay. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. It's a hole. I think you know what I'm trying to tell you. That's not very good shape, there, is it? No, it's so really that would nice. have to be fixed to fix that door. Um, we're going to. I guess we're going to cut this in half. And basically, we're going to cut this half. We're going to run the zip cut down through the middle of it mm -hmm. on both sides to cut it off. So we have to run a, um, if you want to, or let's say you want to, let's run a piece of tape. So we've got a nice straight line. Run a piece of tape all the way down through that mm -hmm. and cut this right in half. And just follow the line of the and tape. You know and you know what's going to happen? What? We're going to have two pieces, oh, one for this side geez, and one for that door. side. So what we'll do is we'll cut that in the center there. Cut that in the center there. We'll have this piece. We'll have this piece. We'll put this piece on this side. We'll put the other piece on the other side. And when we bring the metal from down and out, we'll bring it down and out, and we'll cover that empty spot. 
then cap it with that. And cap it. Okay. He's on my side. I'm fine. So let's get some tape and um, run, try to run a straight line in the center of that. And you'll see the center of that. I can see the center of that. Can you see that little white line sort of? Yeah, yes. that goes all the way down. Yeah. Cut her, cut her right. Let's put some tape on that and, and cut it in half. Or I'll show you how to do it. Actually, let's do it. Let's do it together. That's going to work out perfect. And basically what I, what I would do for this, <clears throat> if I was like what I'd do for this, is I just look at one side and see if it's half. I just kind of eye it up. So when, I, when I get that piece of tape on there like that, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I just try to make it the same the whole way. Just keep it consistent. Basically. And if it's not absolutely perfect, neither am I. And I hope you aren't either because it's a hard thing to keep up. Okay. So what I'm saying is that's the piece that we have to cut. <clears throat> I'm saying that that's the piece we have to cut. Come take a look. If I fold that tape over, it looks like that's halfway, doesn't it? If halfway. You look, if you look, see, you see where I've got it creased? Yeah. It looks like it's halfway. So we'll run that zip cut right on that line. We won't run it on this part. We'll run it right on the, on the tape line. Right on the tape line because it looks like we're whatever. I'll cut that. Did you want to cut it? Want me to cut one, you cut one? Sounds good. I'll cut one, you one. cut one. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We should play some music, but we can't. YouTube won't let us, will they? They'll shut us down. <clears throat> Thanks everybody for coming back. Like, share, comment, ring my bell, and have fun. See where I'm running the grinder? See where I'm running it? I'm running it on the tape side. You know what I mean? But I'm using the, that line of the tape as my, my guide. If it gets away from you some, I'm just letting the grinder do the work, not pushing on it, just letting the grinder do the work. always in the hole and just, and just cut it. my toenails the other night. I forgot that up here. So the grinder disc, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, the grinder disc is down inside the square stock full yeah. time. I'm not bringing it out and if you know what I'm trying Push to tell you. Push on it again and...
I did the easy side. <laughs> we'll run a piece of tape on this. So I'm going to let you run the piece of tape. Okay. It's a bit warm. Keep your, put your gloves on. You get any smaller gloves? Or, keep, no, you're going to have to run, run the tape without your gloves. Yeah. And it's not that hot. It, like, it'll burn you once, but run yeah, some tape on it. Warm. Try to do the exact same thing I did, whatever side you want to be on. Start at, start at wherever you want to start. Start up here and do whatever side you want to do. But try to stick it in the center so you have the same amount. Now that you have, push that on there. Now that you have that distance, try to try to eye that distance the whole way down. Like try to keep, yeah, try to keep that distance the same all the way down. <coughs> nope. See how the distance there? It's coming over. Yeah, well, just straighten around. Nope. Not bad. Takes time to do that sort of stuff, you know. We can do this if you want. Watch. Take that off for a second. I'm going to show you a trick mm -hmm. if you want to. Look, we have, we have the marker. You want to put the marker in the center. See the marker in the center? Yeah. See how I got my finger there like that? See, I got my mar marker in the center? Got yeah, my finger on the edge of it? That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do, I got to get a glove on. <laughs> hot. She's a bit toasty. Jolene, you're hot. So if I put my finger on the, on the thing and I want the center of the pipe, put my finger on the side. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Ouch, that is hot. Not on the side there, I wouldn't. Basically, you can do that. That's hot. Let me see your tape. I'm just run it on there. I'm going to run it on for you. But you know what, what I'm saying. So you take your time, and you would do that. But let's just get it, let's get it done, sort of. I'm going to take over for a second. Right, you can right. practice that straight line tape mark on your time. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah. What are you doing at home at the garage now? Exactly. Just practice that in your time. That's when you practice it. Mm -hmm. That's when I got good. Practice on my own time. Now, take a look at that. It's not bad, eh? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Like we're a little over there. But a little bit. A little bit. Alrighty. So what? What I'm going to ask you is put your gloves on, and we're going to cut that in half. Oh. And you're trying. You're going to try to keep that grinder disc down inside that bad boy. Like bring that over just a little bit. And it's just as easy as peeling it off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Like it's no big deal. All right, go for it, Maestro. Okay. You can start here. Put your hand up there. Hold it there. And start your disc where you think you're going to start in center. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can move it up some. Get yourself more comfortable, and you can pull it out as you're going. That way, there. Hold down on it. And okay. it's not going to take off on you. And I can just pull it down. With you this. can do whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay. Look out. <laughs> Get it down inside. Now, now let it run itself. Push it along. Yep. Push it along. Then we get on top a little bit, but try to keep the grinder just down inside. You don't want to keep it all the way down in there. You just want to keep it down in there far enough that it that it stays in there. That's about right, right there. You're like a, a grasshopper and a chicken, though, ain't you? Huh? It's a skill that you have to you learn, right? You have to. Try to become good at with, with the zip cut and the grinder. How do you cut your metal if you don't? Right? You want me to stop talking? No, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like being a dentist, you want you don't want to, you know. Yeah, hey, she's doing all right. Got a bit of my eye somehow with glasses. Did you? Yeah. I'm t listen, if your old man gets mad at you, tell him you had safety glasses on. I dead. had I safety don't, glasses. I, you know? I followed all the precautions. Yes, you did fall. So, so do I. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes. So sometimes. All right. And just start her in there. Give, give her hell. Give her hell.
Cutting a mighty fine line there, mister. Very nice there. Good, it? looking good. I would say he has nothing to drink. <laughs> He's following the line. Move your hand if you want. I got a hold of it. Okay. Least I can do. <laughs> Stand here. If he cuts me, I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> Fair enough. I do that one. Bear with us, we'll be done in a minute. Hold up for a sec. Ba, 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 ba. All right. You want to get, see how get a little bit over there? Get it back. Try, in the try to, a little bit. Just go easy on it. Like, just, you know what I'm saying. You get it right Continue on, mister.
Ciekawym. Alright, we'll just we'll change ends. We'll change ends. <laughs> Was you supposed to cut that in half? <laughs> Do lay now, huh? Almost there. <laughs> um, just start at the front and just meet up with it. Alright. Absolutely awesome. So now we got two pieces for either side. Yeah. Awesome. Well done, Jeffrey. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely a skill. Ooh. Yeah, it is. It takes it takes time to get used to the grinder, but you did it. You yeah. did it. That means everybody else can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, doesn't it, Aiden? What? Huh? Oh, did it in front of everybody, just like that. Piece of piss. Pull that piece of tape off. Make me happy. Thank, Thank you. you. Alrighty. Still not bad. Now we're this piece here is going to be. Underneath the door, let's go back over and do this piece. Let's try this. Man, that door works good. Mm, and we're gonna smooth. try this back up again. Awesome, we're still in shape. We're still in shape. So, Aiden, let's, let's, let's cut this bad boy to length. So we're up in here. Uh, I'm just kind of wondering, we should probably maybe kick that running board out of, out of there now. We take that off where it fits so nice. Um, come up here and take a look for a second. We can, you know, we have to make sure. Um, this is not going to, what am I going to say? Are we going to run it up to here? Are we like, do you know what I mean? If we run it up to the, this post, yeah. there's an inside post there, a little kick in half inch there. If we run it up to this post, that means we're going to have to notch this out a little bit, which I'm thinking it should be run up because the, the front of the door goes up to there. So we run, should run this po piece right to this post right here. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And like running right this, up this, this is where it's going to end, right here, so we're just going to make it that long. So it's going to end right there. Yeah. We go back to the other side, and that's where it's going to end, right at the back of the, right at the door. It may be just a little bit longer than the door because it's going to hit the post. Can you see where the post is? Post is right in the center of the door. Okay, why don't you uh, mark it right where the center of the door, right, right where the center of the gap, I guess, and then we'll have enough either way. Yeah, let's cut it off. Okay. And if it's too short by a little tiny bit, how do you fix it? Mm, add a bit of weld. Coat hanger. Coat hanger. Right, you know what I mean? mean. You know, a little, add a little bit of weld. We're going to cut it off. Just going to take a knock off the sharp stuff. Generally, you get your flapper wheel to do that, but I'm cheating. That worked out really good for us because now we got two pieces, one for each door. We don't have to bend two pieces of metal. Hmm? Yeah, you know, what I'm you know what I'm trying to say? Two pieces for the price of one. That's right. Two pieces for the price of one. So, we know we're going in here somewhere. So, we are going to have to cut a little bit out. Come take a look. Yeah. We're going to have to cut. See how the front here? See how it's not going to fit in? If you come up front, you want to come on. I don't know which side baby's on, but. What? Okay, can you see? Yeah. It's going to have to have a little notch taken out of it to get it to go in. Because we know that when. Let's do a little investigation. Let's do a little investigation. <clears throat> when we shut the door, the door's flush with that piece. Yeah, with that. Okay, door's flush with this piece. 
we want this piece underneath the door, but we still want it inside. We have to have it inside that piece. So we can't be, we're going to have to like not take a piece out of the end of this. Take a little corner. Take a, take a little corner of that. Yeah. And uh, you know how we do that? We scribe it, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Right? We scribe it. With it. And then we'll, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take, um, man, i got to sit in this thing. <laughs> we're going to take the running board off, and then that way there we can really, I have not been in it yet. I get on my hands and knees for Jolene. Whoop whoop. What do you think, Abe? Want to go for a wrist spin? Yeah. <laughs> Down in the corner shop. Awesome. Cool beans. Awesome. First time been in through the door in, in, in a long while. If we all remember right, this was a 42 door, not a coupe. It was a two door. Two door. Yeah, it was a two door. You're going to hold that in. I'm going to pull this end off. Right. Actually, I'm going to pull that bolt out first. If you got this end, just to hold it. I'll take oh, this bolt out first because it's kind of a... Okay. Okay, come out pretty easy. Yeah. And the reason we're taking this back off so we can see up underneath oh. to put that piece in. To get that slide in. Yeah. Where's that pull tag? There it is. Just gonna push that in. There you go. And the back. Cool. Right. We'll just set that right over here. Yeah. Don't bend it. No. Drop that off the bay of Fundy, you wouldn't bend it. <laughs> All right. If you hear any farts, it's just me. I got gas. <laughs> right? And if you see Aiden running, it stunk. <laughs> All right. I, I want to lay on my other side. The cheek. I've got to lay on my other cheek. And the reason being is, um, I don't want to knock off the. What I'm doing here, Aiden? Get on your on your backside, bro. Get on your backside. All right. Anything got to be cut. See how that fits that door nice? Yeah. Okay, we have to go up underneath. We have to go up underneath the door. Are, are you? Can you? Can, let me see a second. Black one side there, like that. Yeah. Hey, I, I like that. Right? That'll go inside like that. We can weld that right there, like that. Can we not? Yeah, absolutely. Um. But. Well, what's over that? Um, mm -hmm. We have to have it this way. Because we want the metal to cover. We have to have it this way. The bottle of it. Right. So we want the metal to cover the top. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'm thinking is, is I got to come up here. So you, if you want to, that there can be welded right there. That's fantastic. Yeah, Absolutely right fantastic. There. Yep. And the reason being is, is that it's going inside. Are you able to grab me a marker to see how, see, I'll take it out. You just keep your camera right there. It's perfect. Julian, you're perfect. That piece is going inside there. You can see it going inside there. So I can weld that there on this end. I have to mark it because I have a post here. And I want this piece to go all the way forward. You've got a marker. You're special, boy. You're special. I'm going to pull this ahead a little bit. Don't let it fall. Keep your hand up there in case it falls and hits you in the face. Yep. I don't want to see you hit in the face. I know I don't. I'm going to mark, mark this off. I can see it. I can see it. And I'm going to weld that up in there. Awesome. Awesome. Going well. This is going very good. Now, I'm going to take you, get you to cut that. All right. Cut that, cut, cut that. Yep. And cut that, and, we're, and cut this corner up. And okay? just take a chunk out of just it. Just take a chunk out of it. All right. Where, where the marker is. I'm going to give you your marker back. I'm going to hook the welder up, because it's looking good. Looking real good. Not as good as you, Jolene, but looking good. She wants to touch me, boys. She wants to touch me. <laughs> Jolene bought me some new underwear. So if you see anything different, that's it. New underwear. Beautiful. Thank you. You got her, Pontiac. Yeah. Yep. Boom. Let's try it. See if it makes us feel good. You're like yours is good because it goes right inside. Mm -hmm. You're like you're you're lucky. No. You know what they say, Aiden? What? 
You gotta be good to be lucky. <laughs> I gotta be good to be lucky. You gotta be good to be lucky. Alrighty. I'm very happy with what I got going on. And the reason being is, just keep your hand up there in case it falls and condense you whack you in the face. You wouldn't want anything to whack you in the face and not be able to protect yourself. You know what they say, protect yourself at all times. <laughs> all right. Um, I want to take, I want to, I'm going to pull this down. Yeah. And the reason being is I want to look at the, see what, what the shape of it looks like, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Um, we have, see, we've got the shape that we want of the door. Yeah. But now if you take a look at it, it's kind of this way. A little bit, not much. A little bit. A little, just say it, just a little bit. I'm going to get my other glove on. I'm going to take it over to the stump and just push on it lightly. I don't want to whack it on the floor, not really. doing now? Mm, I think the end's going a bit. Yeah, it's curving up. Yeah. Remember the bottom of the door goes like this? It curves around and up. Yep, so we want it following that line. Yeah, we want that line. We got this line, mm -hmm. but now we need this line, right? Two different curves. There are two different curves going on. Mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. You understand that? Me. Awesome. So we're curved up a little bit. See, the basic reason we want it curved up a little bit, because I don't want this piece, see, as, as I put that piece there, and I hook this piece up here, I don't want nothing hanging below the door. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it seems to be higher, feel it in the, feel your distance there, and then feel your distance here. If I put it up, if I try to hide it, if I just try to hide the front, feel the distance? See the distance? There's a big distance in the middle, isn't there? There is, yeah. Yeah, so we need, I need more. So what we're doing is we're laying it up underneath the door. It's tight on this end, or down, like the bottom of the door is right, on, right with it. On the bottom, in the middle, uh, the bottom of the door, this piece is way up inside the door. So the bottom of the door is hanging way down here. The bottom of the door is, take these gloves off. The bottom of the door is about that high right there, just missing it. But when you come in the middle, the bottom of the door is way up here. We don't want that. We want the bottom of the door the same distance all the way along. And what I'm doing is, is I'm putting a little shape in it by running it on this stump. On the stump. I'm not going too hard because I don't want to go too much. It has to back and forth, that's all. And like I told Aiden. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> well, we'll check it out first. How is that? Yeah, take a peek first. You can see that now. Well, how much is that? Oh, she's curved it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much. We'll see. <clears throat> oh, she's curved, he says. <laughs> that's good. The, the door is curved, too. So. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to fit it fit. Closer, though, isn't it? Yeah. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, like it's closer than it was. We got to get it back up. So this is what I'm going to do. Something silly like this. Basically. Straighten it back out a little bit. That's not too hard, is it? A, not really. I don't think it's that hard. I felt that. I felt that. Let's try it again. So there's a bunch of shapes here you really have to pay attention to as we're doing this. Now, that's not fitting bad, you know, like feel it on the bottom of the door now. Like I'm holding it right on the bottom of my door. It feels good all the way along, does it not? Yeah, it does. So what we're doing is we're feeling the bottom of the door. Joan, you got the camera work, baby. Oh, you got the camera work. You're the champion. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to end up tacking it on your end. Mm -hmm. And then we can tack it on this end. And then we can make it 
perfect. Like we can push it up in the middle and that oh, sort okay. of stuff. Yeah, so what's going to happen is, see that distance you got right there? Yeah. I'm going to want you to tack that on that metal right there and weld that on there. So I'm going to get you to jump up, get your welder. I got it set up. You all have to do is turn it on. You're going to have to get your mask. Yep. Not your Halloween mask, your welding mask. <laughs> Um, I probably should push that up a little bit more. And as you see me doing this, I don't really need the stump. It's, it's easy to, you know, manipulate with my knee. We're just trying to make a nice... Spin. All right, let's do it. We need a ground so you can ground it on uh, the fender or... Right here? Yeah. And the, I'd go in that, where it's just right in that hole where I get a ground off, a nice clear metal. Oh, here. Yep. Yep. That'd be great. You should be good. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Should I stay? Do a little hula hoop there. How low can you go? And how many times can you bang your head? Oh, a few yesterday. Probably few a few. Keep it even. Yeah. As long as you don't get it soft. Should be all right. Now we're gonna go with that distance right there. I don't mind that distance. That's a good That's distance. Okay. Yeah, right. tack that on there. Right there. Yeah, why not? All right. Yeah, what Just that? tag it on there. One more. That sounded better. There we go. That sounded better. Now, what I suggest, suggest sometimes, mm -hmm. tack it on on a on the end, not right in the middle, because you're gonna want to run a nice bead on that. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. You're gonna give it to me. And I'm going to weld my end. I need my end fitting above the door. Now I'm saying that we're we're in place. We're a little low at the. I'm just going to knock it on again. Am I hitting that on there? It is now. Now. You want to zap yours on? Yeah. Like what I what I suggest. Down here. Yeah, what I suggest is put a nice nice spot on it yeah. and just spot it all the way across. All the way along the side? Yeah, just so put a spot on and then spot it again, spot it again, just do try to do a nice weld with it. Okay. Get it on your corner, start on your corner, your start, yeah, and then come all the way across. Okay. One spot at a time. So you're going to put one spot on. One spot on. Wait, just, wait just a second, and you're going to put another spot on. And then just keep going. Right, all the way across. Mm -hmm. You're going to put a nice spot on. Yeah. Hit it again. Hit, hit it again. Hit it again. All the way across. All right. You're the man. He's on. Now, see, see this up here, I've got a nice... You can see I got a nice, it's up above the door here. Yeah. Right? Right there, it's right, it's almost. So. It's almost right on there. Watch this. What I'm gonna do push on it, right? And fix it. Just push on it. Uh -huh. Right? And then we fixed it. Right? And we're, we're, then, we're, then we're in place. And we're not below the, the door. Or we're not, we're below the door. So we just push up on it a little bit. We don't want it below the door, right? No, it won't. Right, oh, I don't want it to close the door. Now, if we get out and take a look, we should not see that. No. Shouldn't right? We do not want to see it. Let me see. I'm going to get my helmet on while my end, just so that we're safe. Now we get out of the bombs door. Now you can't see it. Right? No. Perfect. Cool. That's awesome. what we want. Now when we open the door, what do we got? I got an issue. What's the issue? Is it hit? Oh, it's hitting that. Can't have that out there like that. Just bent the door. Well, can't have that out like that. I gotta have. Hmm. Hmm. It's gotta be in further than that. I gotta go in further. Getting caught on it. Well, see how see how the end right here like where's Aiden at? 
I've got that right out in there in that spot. That yeah. spot needs to be clear oh, of yeah. anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that door. Well, I'm going to have to cut that out of there. I'm going to have to move that in. Hmm. Or, I'm wondering how far that has to come out. I can slide that in a little bit further, but I like the distance that it was away from the door. You know what I mean? I liked how tight you had it. Yeah. On. Hmm. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to go in further. Um, so basically, what what's going on is yours is good on your end, and the reason being is it's not opening there. It's shutting there. On my end, I have to see this piece right here. See where I've got it out on this on this piece over the front piece. We cut that little tit out. Yeah. Well, I have to go all the way in. You have to cut that entire part out. Yes, and go all the way in. You um, know what I'm trying to tell you? Okay. So you so, remove the entire square. See, as, as now we go back down underneath the door, my boo boo, as we go back down underneath the door, we've got it fitting too good, <laughs> basically. Um, you're fine back there, but I gotta, I've got to take mine in uh, towards, I've got to cut that off and move that in. Okay. Right? Just gotta so I've got to take a zip cut. So I've got to take my front piece. Your back piece can stay, yeah. but my front piece has to be moved into that first ledge so I can open the door. Uh, okay, I'm going to tack on again. Right? And then we'll open it up, and then we'll go from there. So you did good, and I messed up. <laughs> you got the door hinged. That's the tougher part. No, I'm just joking. There's, it's, all, it's all a process, really. Um, if you don't know what it, what it was before, how would I know that that was going to hit? You know? You have no idea. Just well, I do you. now. No, well, now you do. <laughs> I do now, um, basically. And uh, it's not a big issue. I just have to move it in some. That's all. So that tit that, I, that we cut t to make that fit really good was yeah. not necessary. We're going to make it fit back. Hmm. Yeah. Get that out. Screwdriver and pluck it off. I'm on there by, by the by the skin of me knuckles. Oh yeah. We'll get that pried off and get that put in place, and then we'll be happy. On the back side, it does not. It did not matter. On the front side, it does. I'm just gonna just pluck this off. There we go. Now we have to move this. You're all good on your end still? Aiden, you're all good yeah, on your end. Old. So I'm just going to move that in there like you so. Now for our door to open. I must let's shut our door. Yeah. Okay. For our door to open, I must go in like that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It so gives it that space. It gives it that space. And I have to go up a bit because I want it above the door. I'm gonna take that off. Hit that with a zip cut. A little bit of weld there. I wanna knock off. Ah. It's not gonna let me knock it off. Right. Oh. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Yeah. And I'm gonna do that. Perfect. Well, I should let it in a little bit further. All right, we're still good. Yeah, keep going. Just want to make sure that I welded on this time that I'm not gonna to have to move it. Don't want to move it. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh. 
Alrighty. Hopefully I got that in there far enough. Hopefully. Hopefully I got that in there far enough. We can push that up in there. Let's try it now. Still not in there far enough, so I gotta take it in further. Even further. Well, what happens is, come here, look, I'm out still a little ways. See, I'm out still a ways? Yeah. Still gotta take it in. Do you wanna hold that piece for a second? Yep. That piece has to be welded in there. If right, you know, flush with that piece. If or not, it's not gonna work. You gotta do it again. You do it again. All right, Aiden, come, come. Uh, if you want. I'm going to guess right there. Now, can we shut the door? Yep. Just go slow. We're above the door. That's basically what I need to know above, above the door. And I've got that crooked than the ram's horn. That's okay, I can turn it. Let's open the door up. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Ta-da! And she leaves. Now. <laughs> All right. I want, tur I want to turn this, and I don't want it to fall off. I've got a pair of uh, channel locks. I just want it to get it. Actually, it's not bad, is it? No, it's not too bad. I sort of want it. And what I'm wondering is, See, now we're going to make a piece of metal down and over. Yeah, and it caps this one. Too. And caps this. So we'll weld it on this edge. And it goes over. And it, we can actually, we can just make a piece of metal that goes right over there and be done with it. We don't need a piece that goes up because we've got the inside sill. And it'd be easier, too, because we have this shape and this shape. So it would be hard, you know, it'd be hard to make, put a 90. If we put a 90 in it, it's not going to fit right to the front. It'll leave the gap. So it'll leave it like it'll be straight. It'll be a gap there and it'll be a gap up there. So we'll just take a piece of paper and we'll make it in here. We'll make that piece and we'll weld it all the way there along that. So I'm going to shut the door one more time. See, and maybe see how I've got this one on the inside of that oh, right there. The post, yeah. Maybe that one there. Well, we're inside there, aren't we? We're not bad there. Let's let's, let's open and shut the door again. And I want to see the distance that we have. All right, shut the door. Yeah. Open it up, Aiden, please. Sesame, please. I want to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. I'm going to, with the door open, I'm going to weld it right on the top because I can really see what's going on. Yeah. I'm going to weld that there. I'll turn that on. You're going to get a piece of Bristol board. Okay. Piece of Bristol board. You want to get a full length piece. Here. I'm going to put a helmet on. Aiden's got his side welded down here. He did a good job welding that on. I'm going to weld this on. Beautiful. Get that weld in there nice. I want to make sure that L he got his piece of welded on good. We bend it around a little bit. I can't see really. I think you're fine. We have to see if the if you can see it underneath the door. I think we could come up probably in the center just a little bit. Like right here.
Basically, you just don't want to see it, that's all. Yeah. Turn it. And I want to pull it up some. Turn that welder off just for a sec. Can't not see nothing. Unless you're underneath the door. I'm gonna take a look from the other side. Just because I want to see the bottom of the gap of the door, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Lots of gap on the bottom of the door. Like you can see how far you can see the angle iron or the piece that we put in underneath the door, we get lots of gaps, so the door's not gonna hit. You know what I mean? The door's not going to hit. So when we weld a piece of metal on top of it, it's not going to hit. That's what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. I'll show you. Where, when we open this door, the bottom of the door is not going to hit on this. Yeah. Basically, that's what we want. We don't want the bottom of the door hitting on that. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to run a piece of metal in from there inside sill to here and then, then that makes our floor complete let's take this we'll do this really quick got a marker aiden yeah. you're a good man all righty now to get the shape i'm going to hold this here how are you going to scribe that um, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what i'll hold it back there tight yeah oh no i just go like that how are you going to scribe that because it's got to get that. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you real quick. Mm. Hold your marker against this. Yeah. And start from there mm. and go all the way back. Okay. Do you know yes. what I'm trying to hold? No. Nope. Like this. Yep. Yep. marker straight up and down like you're holding it the whole way. We need a pair of scissors. Yep, you're fine. Okay, scissors. A pair of scissors. I'll get the scissors. All right. We'll try to make this piece as quick as possible and then we'll set it in there. Are we giving away a hat or a shirt today, baby? We are. Jolene, you're so cute with them glasses on. She's so cute. So, we'll get this scribed. We'll get this fitting good. And you know what our next move will be? Tracing the underneath of it on the outside. Uh, okay. So, if we haven't got it scribed where we want it, well then we'll just do it again. I'm gonna cut a little, uh, see how that's not fitting right there? A little, yeah. Just kind of it's coming out take of a little bit more off this end. So I can slot in. So we can slide in a little bit. That. We can weld that in. You can weld that in, Aiden. I know you can. Let's, let's trace you. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do a little bit more right here. Probably going the wrong way with the scissors. That's the problem. There, so I can. Now you're going to come along the outside of that and trace the outside. And he comes out the right side. And you want on this side, right? Yep. You need a little piece of tape. Yep.
then we're going to take a piece on the end of this so we can get a full piece. So we've got this piece. That's fine. We're going to tape a piece on the end of this. Okay. I'm going to cut some off this. You're going to hold. You're going to hold that there. I'm going to tape. I'm going to try to make the line with the paper. See how I did that? Just kind of sliding it in there. Into the corner. Yeah. Trying to hold the line. Give me a piece of tape, please. Beautiful. Jolene is. Now we need your marker. Geez, I'm using all your stuff today. <laughs> On the outside of that mark. our piece. So now we're going to make this piece. This will get welded along here and welded along this edge. And then that'll finish off the floor. Once we get this done, then we can bring down metal, cap that off here, yeah. and cap it off in the front. Well, how long are we in? Alrighty, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take this piece here and we're going to transfer it to a piece of 18 gauge. We must have a piece around here, so we're going to transfer this to a piece of 18 gauge. We're going to slide it in there. We're going to weld it on the inside sill in the t into this part. And then that will be, that will close the door off. When you, open, when you look in the door, you won't be able to see it on the ground. It's going to close that off. And that's what's supposed to happen. And then the running board will go on underneath that. Um, we know we got a gap underneath the running board, so we know that that runs underneath that. Basically, that's what was going on. We're going to use the other piece that Aiden cut in half. We'll use that for the other side, and we're cooking with gas. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. There's your piece, Aiden. We're going to try to find something that we can trace that out on. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can find a piece of 18 gauge. Oh, I got a sheet right up there. Um, but we're going to give away a hat or a shirt, and then I'm going to help you. Go the other way. Nope. Yep. Okay, that worked. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. Cool. There you go, man. You're going to marker that out, and uh, we'll cut that with that. Probably no doubt in my mind. And uh, we'll have that piece for that piece. We'll save that pattern. Don't throw it away because we might use it for the other side. Nice. Try to make the other side the same. Cool. Cooking with gas. Good job, Aiden. Cooking with gas. All right, let's give away a hat or shirt. That went well. Um, didn't realize when you opened the door that that was going to hit, but that's what you do. You, after you realize something doesn't work, you jump back in and you fix it. That's what I do every time. I make a mistake, and I jump back in, and I fix it. Running board fit absolutely awesome. Awesome. Now, we're really going to be cooking with gas today because we're going to be able to do both inside doors. I think I'll open the other door up on the other side. We have the piece made. Why would we not? 420 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate coming back. Like, share, comment, subscribe, ring my bell. All that sort of stuff, I guess. Dennis. That's what I'm going to say. Dennis. Not sure what the rest of it is, but Dennis. Dennis, you want a hat or a shirt of your choice because you've taken the time to make a comment. Like the videos, Jolene. I bet you like the videos, Jolene. Ah, I love Jolene too. You guys have a great day. Dennis, you weren't sure, a hat or shirt of your choice because you made a comment. We appreciate you all coming back. Um, that was fun to do that with Aiden. Um, I'm not sure if Aiden got anything out of it, but I think he did. Oh, yeah. Welcome back tomorrow, everybody.